Welcome, everybody. My name is Dr. Adam Ingreo. I am the co-founder and national director of the Heroes to Hives program. And today, I am going to give you a preview of what to expect for our 2023 program. We've got a lot of exciting things happening in the 2023 program. It is our eighth year of the program, so lots of things going on, and I'm here to update you about all of those things today. So Heroes to Hives is the nation's largest beekeeping education program for military veterans. We are focused on training our service members to be the next generation of U.S. beekeeper, and we do that through an, through an intensive nine-month beekeeping education program that is fully science-based and really meant to give you a great opportunity to get good knowledge before you start this endeavor to really jump into bees. If you've never kept bees before, I really encourage you to take the course first and then start bees the next year. Bees are a very complex organism, and with the challenges that we face in the modern era with pests and pathogens affecting honeybees, Beekeeping is not just something you can jump into. It does take a very firm education, and that's what we're here to provide you with, is a very, very good education. So, Heroes to Hives, basically the way that we look at beekeeping with service members is that we look at beekeeping as an opportunity to have a hobby, a career, to build community with other service members, or to use beekeeping as a therapeutic activity. And over the last seven years, we have trained over 8,200 military service members and their dependents in the art and science of beekeeping. To be eligible for our program, you must be a service member, meaning you must be a veteran, an active duty service member, someone that is retired from the military, or someone that has served in the National Guard or the U.S. Armed Reserves. Those are the categories of individuals that are allowed to take our program. If you are a dependent of one of those individuals that is participating in our program, we also allow those, those service members to add up to three dependents to their application for our program. So essentially, you can take this with three of your family members. Only participating service members are eligible to add uh, individuals to the application. If you are an, a dependent that is working with, a, you know, a deceased service member or someone who is not in, or someone who is not participating in our course, maybe your spouse isn't interested in bees, but you are. Unfortunately, we're not able to to allow you to participate in the course. The course is very large, and we have several thousand students every year, and we really try to focus on allowing the individuals that are directly connected to participants to allow to participate to be allowed to participate in the course. So, so that is who is eligible for our program. Of those 8,200 students that have gone through our course over the last seven years, we estimate over 50,000 hives in the United States being managed by those beekeepers in all 50 states. We've had uh, service members participate from all U.S. states, all, all U.S. territories except for Samoa, and active duty personnel serving all over the country, including out of country uh, in Asia and also in Europe. So wherever you're at, as long as you have a good internet connection, you can participate in this program uh, just like every Everybody else that's stateside if you're active duty. The program itself is broken up into two categories, and I'm going to go through what these categories are as far as how we deliver education to you. The main program of Heroes to Hives is an all online based program, but we also do offer workshops in a few select states, and that's where on ground training can happen. Now, on ground training is not available to everybody, and, and that's something that over the years, as we continue to build up, we will continue to add more on-ground training in different states. But we are very particular about how we roll out on-ground training because all of our on-ground training, and we do offer it, is provided to you by beekeeping experts. We make sure that the people that you are always learning from are the nation's experts. And with our online program, you'll see our list of partners here at the end, but our online program is put together by some of the leading experts and some of the leading universities in beekeeping in the country. You are going to be learning from experts in the Heroes to Hives program, and that is something that we really pride ourselves on. We are not setting you up for failure. We are going to set you up with for success with very, very solid education as a foundation for your beekeeping endeavor. So let's talk a little bit about what you can expect in the course. The main program, our online program, runs from March to November of every single year. From November 1st through February 28th of every year, that's our application period. So starting November 1st, you'll be able to fill out an application at heroes2hives.com 
to join the program, which starts in March. So you have that, that period of time where you can, you can apply to be part of the program. The way it works is, is that this is not something where we have to accept you. As long as you meet the criteria, which is you're a service member, that is the, that's the criteria we have. As long as you meet that criteria, you're part of the program once you submit that application. You just have to be a little patient sometimes if you get on the front end of that. Uh, I know a lot of folks get very excited about getting into beekeeping, but the program starts in late March, and that's usually the last week of March is when we start the program. What you can expect from the online program is over 30 lectures in the art and science of beekeeping. Things as basic as biology, all the way to doing hive inspections, how to manage pests and pathogens, and all sorts of things in between. Those That lecture material, those are usually about 30 minutes to an hour and a half lectures, and so you're going to have over 30 of those in the new course in 2023. A lot of new content being added this year um, as well. We have a full module that's being added on business development that's being developed by the Veteran Business Outreach Center out of Missouri. We have a whole commercial beekeeping area of the course that's being developed. For those of you that are interested in breaking out into the commercial industry or working in the commercial industry, we have a partnership with a Be Informed Partnership, Michigan State University Extension, to, and Project Apis M to help develop the tools to get you into the commercial beekeeping industry. That's all brand new material this year. We also have a full new, new uh, set of material on the therapeutic practices of beekeeping that have been developed by, um, by Lacey and Grayo of Bee Wise Farms, who's a psychologist and also the co-founder of Heroes to Hives with myself, um, uh, uh, it, that it basically looks at beekeeping in a whole new way, which is looking at beekeeping as a therapeutic activity that you can use to deal with some of the traumas that you may be dealing with from service. And that is a whole new area that we're, we're building into this year um, that's really going to be an exciting addition to the course. In addition to the lectures and all of these training materials, you're also going to get instructional videos. And those instructional videos are literally a, a visual guide for you to do things in the beat, in the apiary. It's It'll be me showing you how to do a mite check using an alcohol wash or a powdered sugar uh, roll. It'll be me teaching you how to do inspections step by step, what you need to be going through, what you should be looking at, what things to expect in, a, in, in an apiary. All of these instructional videos, you're going to have over 25 of those. Um, and they are as basic as how to light a smoker, to how to build your own equipment, to how to do management practices in the apiary. So a lot of great material there. Those are 5 to 20 minutes long. Then you're going to have over 25 of those in the course this year. In addition to all of that, we also have support resources provided to us by the Veterans and Ag Network from Michigan Food and Farming Systems, who is the host for the Heroes to Hives program uh, for 2020. And that organization will let you be able to delve into all the resources that are available to you as a veteran at the federal, state, and local levels, um, and programs that you should be aware of that you can use to help you to get things started for yourself. So all of those materials in the online program. It is a very robust course. And the way that it works is that every month, on the 15th of the month, we'll get started in March, at the end of March, but on April 15th and the month, the 15th of every month thereafter, you'll get an email that basically just has all the course materials right there, and you just click right on them, and it brings you to our private YouTube channel where you can view those materials. In previous years, we've been, we had, we were hosted on a web platform by Michigan State University Extension. Uh, some of you who may have gone through that course and are returning to the course this year, that course material, that way that platform worked where you had to log in and have a password and all of this kind of stuff and set all that up, that is no longer part of the course. We are going back to how we used to do the course, which was essentially every month on the 15th, you get emailed the course materials for that month from myself. So that'll be a real nice and easy way to maintain communications and also allow us to course materials to you in a timely manner without you having to worry about logging into a platform. All right, so let's go on to our <clears throat> certificate of completion. So the online course, uh, starting two years ago, we started offering a certificate of completion for the course, which is recognized by the U.S. Department of Agriculture for a year of experience in agriculture. Uh, when you're working with USDA, oftentimes programs have educational or, or workforce um, requirements where you've worked in the industry. And Heroes Dives is seen as a year within the beekeeping industry by that organization. Now, in order to get our certificate of completion, you have to demonstrate that you have met our knowledge outcomes. And that means that you've done the work, right? And, you know, you've done the work, you've gone through the materials, you've studied up, and you've passed our final exam. 
So the way that this is going to work, and this is new for this year, this platform, but essentially in October and November of 2023, we will be sending you uh, in your emails with your lecture materials, we will be sending you a link to a final exam. You can, if you want to get a certificate of completion, you can click that link and take the final exam. You can take the exam up to three times. You need to score a 70% or better. And it's a hundred question comprehensive exam. So it's, it, you know, we're testing your knowledge here. If you pass that exam and you don't have to take it, if you just want to be in Heroes to Hives and not take an exam and not get a certificate of completion, that is totally fine. Maybe you just want to, you know, get, maybe you're just interested in bees. That's totally fine. But if you want this certificate of completion, you've got to meet those knowledge outcomes by demonstrating that in a final exam. For those that complete the final exam successfully, those individuals are then eligible to transfer their credits to the Great Plains Master Beekeeping course. That is a course based out of the University of Nebraska-Lincoln that we have an agreement with. And basically, if you complete our course, you can transfer all those credits to GPMB. That completes your entire apprentice level of education. All you have to do is take a field exam at that point to test out of that apprentice level, and you're already under the journeyman level. The GPMB partnership that we have is a really key partnership for our students. Heroes of Hives is a beginning beekeeping course. We are not a comprehensive, multi-year beekeeping course. We have people that participate in the course many times because they like the information and like refreshers, but we are, we are meant to be an inter, a very good introduction to beekeeping. We are not a master beekeeping course. But the partnership with the Great Plains Master Beekeeping course allows you to continue your education pass Heroes to Hives, and still get credit for all the work you did with us. So it's a great opportunity for you to continue your education and get that Master Beekeeping Certificate if that's what you're after. And that is a, that's a great partnership we have with them. So when you pass the exam, basically I send your name and your information over to their, uh, their uh, coordinator, uh, Sheldon Brummel, and he basically puts you into the system and we get you right on boarded. And the next thing you got to do is take your field exam and you're done with your apprenticeship. Great, great opportunity if that's what you're looking for. But that's what we offer in our online program. It's a very comprehensive program. If you, There's no expectation you finish. Life happens. But for those that want the completion, this is how you get it. Um, but everybody else who just wants exposure to bees and just to have fun and just to get back with veterans and do something cool <laughs> that helps the environment and helps us as well, you're welcome to be part of this course. There's no expectation that anybody does the certificate of completion. We just want veterans to get excited about bees and have a great education behind them to really do it effectively. All right, outside of the online program, we also offer workshops, uh, hands-on workshops that are seasonal. And currently, these are offered in four states, in Michigan, Missouri, Minnesota, and Nebraska. And this is through partnerships with uh, universities, is basically who we work with out of the state of Michigan. Michigan Food and Farming Systems here in the state of Michigan and BY's Farms, my farm. Um, we host some, some workshops here in Michigan. Michigan State University also hosts some workshops here in Michigan. And the VFW of, in Mich of Michigan also hosts uh, some workshops for us here in Michigan. So quite a few organizations here in the, in the state of Michigan. In Missouri, it's the University of Missouri Extension who offers the Heroes Types program. In Minnesota, it's the University of Minnesota's B Squad and their B Veterans program. And in Nebraska, it's our partnership with the Great Plains Master Beekeeping Course. So in all of those states, if you're an uh, individual participating in our course, you will have opportunities to do hands-on instruction and hands-on experiences in those courses. Now, they may be limited. So by participation might be limited, and we have a lot of students in our course. So you may not be able to participate in this, and that is fine. There's no expectation that you get the hands-on experience to do the certificate of completion. But if you want that extra something, you can oftentimes travel. I know So some of our locations will allow anybody from anywhere in the country to come to my farm in Michigan, in Newberry, Michigan, the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, we allow anybody from any country, any any state or out of country for that matter, if you're participating in the Heroes Dives course, to come to our uh, courses. What will happen is that these these courses, these on ground offerings, will be announced 
via email through your regular our regular communications month to month, I will be sending you something out about where these are, how to get registered for them, all of that when they do arrive. And that is at the beginning, usually in spring. So April is usually when we start those in some states. Michigan, usually not until June, um, sometimes May at the earliest. But those will all be announced to you after you've joined the course and once we get going. All of our workshops, again, are, are provided by professionals, by experts. And that's something, again, that we really pride ourselves on is giving you a solid education that is, that is based in the most current understanding of honeybees. Um, this, again, is optional and it's not required for the certificate of completion. All right, so we talked a little bit about the Great Plains Master Beekeeping course and you transferring your credits with the certificate of completion. Again, that's a partnership, and our course is, an, is a Great Plains Master Beekeeping course approved course, which means that you can transfer your course credits over. Some of the testimonials that we've had over the years, just to give you an idea of, of kind of what to expect with our course. A lot of folks really enjoy the connection with nature and just getting back to nature after serving in the military. You know, the cycles of, of the military, we move so fast and decisions are made in, in split seconds. And just slowing down with the, the cycles of nature, the cycles of bees oftentimes really helps us out as veterans. It allows us to nurture instead of destroy. I'm an army veteran. I served as a Patriot missile fire controller. And I mean, one of my jobs was to shoot things out of the sky, you know, and a lot of you who had combat MLSs, you understand that whole destruction portion of serving in the military. It's part of what we do. But coming back home, that mind shift oftentimes is kind of difficult. And so shifting back to that, that nurture-based instead of destruction and nurturing honeybees is something that really helps a lot of us out with military-related trauma. Brings us back together as veterans over something constructive. You know, when we get out of the military, we oftentimes lose those those familial bonds that we had with our fellow service members, this brings us back together to serve something greater than ourselves. And that's protecting our food security. Pollinators are responsible for a third of the food that's, that we eat. And it, the job that we do as beekeepers is very important in the protection of our food security. It provides stability and support. Having to have someone you're, you're responsible to, again, you know, bees, and may not be a platoon or, you know, it may not be your battle buddies, but it's your bees now that you're responsible to and you got to show up for. And that oftentimes really helps a lot of people out, provides that stability, also provides some support. Um, you know, one of the things that I love about bees and one of the things I'll talk about throughout the course is the therapeutic value of working with bees. Dealing with your traumas in the apiary, we're going to show you some really great ways to do that, and that provides that support. You also have that support of other service members that are active in the same thing that you are in the Heroes Dives community. Provide some supplemental income. Many of us are looking for an opportunity to open a business or supplement current income. We can provide that for you with a good education and some footholds and what to do to get into the industry. And it also engages our families. The whole reason that we allow dependents of participants to join the course is because we have seen Time and time again, where family bonds are built over a beehive. You've been active duty. You've been serving overseas. Maybe you've had three deployments and you've been gone for years. Oftentimes, those familial bonds, they get strained. And one way to rebuild those bonds is to have something of common interest that everybody's excited about. What better way than to do that than with bees? Oftentimes when I've worked with veterans and, and gone out to their farms and visited them and, and they've gone through the Heroes to Hives course, it's usually the kids that are more excited about the bees when I get to a farm than, than even the, the individual that we worked with in the program. So that is why we provide the education that we do for family members of, of uh, individuals participating in the, in the course. And again, great way to rebuild those bonds. Some of the other stuff that we do at Heroes of Hives that meant some of you may be actually engaging in this year with us is that we have been doing research with the VA for the last two years on the, bee, the value of beekeeping in a therapeutic setting. Many people will tell you that beekeeping is therapeutic, but there is very little scientific evidence to support that. And we have been working with the VA for the last two years to build the data to actually show that beekeeping is evidence-based therapeutic practice. And that is key. We can say that beekeeping is, is doing great things for veterans as much as we want, but without solid evidence, it's just all talk. 
We have a lot of anecdotal evidence through Heroes to Hives and the 8,200 veterans we worked or service members and their families that we worked with, with great comments about how beekeeping has helped them that, that, you know, they wouldn't be here without their bees. And that's all great, but that is not scientific support. And so we've been working with the VA to really start to get this nailed down so that we can start using beekeeping in the VA as therapy. And for those of you that are VA patients, you know, you understand that the VA has changed a lot in the last 10 years and what they're offering is therapy. This is another part of that. And so we are working hand in hand with the VA to try and get this evidence-based therapy, basically scientific publications and data that shows that there is therapeutic out there are therapeutic outcomes happening in the apiary for service members. So we have been we've been leading the charge on that. And it's you know it's a lot of work on the front end. We've been doing this with them and we continue to work with them. And and we hope that within the next couple of years that we'll have a, an opportunity to share that information with folks. All right, so how to join the program. The program again application opens November 1st, closes February 28th. You can find that application at heroes2hives.com. The course, again, runs from March to November, and on-ground activities are going to be during the beekeeping season. You can follow us on Facebook. Um, we do put a lot of information out there, not so much about what's happening internally to the course. That's all done on a private basis with the course uh, cohort that we have. But we do post a lot of great information on, on Facebook. Our partners, we always want to thank our partners for their support and their continued commitment to the Heroes to Hives program. A lot of great partners that we work with. Again, my name is Dr. Adam Ingreo. I'm the co-founder and national director of the program. And I'll be your lead instructor throughout the entire year of this program. If you have any questions, you can contact me at adam at myths.org. And for more information about our program, and, and this is where we hold all of our information, including on how to donate to the program, is at heroes2hives.org. Or remember the .com, heroes2hives.com is where we house our application. The .org website is our informational website. Hope to see you in the course this year, and thanks again for joining.